Hey guys, it's Danette, your trainer at G-Bomb, and welcome to our October challenge. So our October challenge is gonna be set up just like our September challenge, except we have new exercises and a, a lot of different moves. So it's gonna be the same format, three sets, um, 30 seconds exercising, 30 seconds resting, and it's gonna be the three days a week. So we're starting with Monday's workout. So today we are going to be doing Skater kicks, uh, plank jacks, quick feet, scissor kicks, and squats with shuffles. So I'm going to show you the modified version of each exercise, and then I'll transition into the more advanced version halfway through showing. So I'm going to be demonstrating for 30 seconds each. First, we're going to get started with some stretches. So I'm going to walk through five stretches. The first stretch is going to be our tricep stretch. So we're going to put our one arm up in the air above our heads, kind of fold it back behind, take your other hand and you're going to pull. So we're going to hold this for about 15 seconds, taking a nice deep breath, trying to get the oxygen into those muscles that you're stretching. switch and do the other arm. Same thing. Up in the air. Bend it. Grab it with the other arm and pull. Okay, and our next stretch is going to be like kind of a back shoulder stretch. We're just going to take our arm, put it the front of our body, bring it across, you're going to grab your arm at your elbow and you're going to pull. 15 seconds. Remember, make sure you're breathing. You should feel the stretch all back here. Okay, other arm. Next is going to be a hamstring stretch, so that's the back of our legs. We're going to start by placing one of our feet in front of the other. The front leg will have your heel up. You're going to go down with your arms nice and straight. Turn your hands outward and you're going to slowly rise up. So you're going to do this repetitively for 15 seconds. So back down. Make sure you're breathing. All right, then we're going to switch legs. Opposite foot, heel up. Opposite leg, knee slightly bent. Chair or anything at home, you're gonna try to 
grab your leg to wherever you can and you're just gonna pull it back as far as you can while keeping your body and your back nice and straight that way we're feeling the stretch all in the front muscle of our leg our quad make sure we're breathing we're holding it for 15 seconds all right so we're going to switch legs and okay make sure we're breathing breathing is important when you stretch So you want to make sure you go through those stretches like I did before every workout. Um, you can even do them at the end. It's good to stretch before and after your workout. So the first exercise we are going to do are going to be the skater toe taps or skater taps, whatever you want to call them. Um, if we're starting with the modified version, you're going to start with a step. So you're just going to step opposite, moving from side to side, extending that leg out. All right, you guys ready? Ready, set, and go. So this is the modified version. You're just gonna reach down as far as you can. And then this is the evidence version. Just throw a little jump in there. All right, and uh, so those are your skater toe taps or floor taps. Um, now we're going to rest for 30 seconds. So let's just breathe, get our heart rate back down. So the next one we're going to be doing is plank jacks. So you're still resting right now, but I'm gonna just get down and demonstrate. So, plank deck modified version. We're gonna get in a plank position. Um, for the modified, we'll say we're gonna stay on our palms. Here, and then we're just gonna go here. Bring your leg up as far as you can, trying to keep your back as straight as possible. And then, like I said, halfway through, I'll transition to the more advanced version. All right, let's get ready. Okay, and go.
30 seconds of rest. Then we're gonna transition to scissor kicks. So we're gonna start by laying flat on our backs. Um, we start with our knees down. Not really much of a modification you can do for this. Um, all right. Okay, so the modification for scissor kicks. Modification will be keeping your legs high. The lower you put your legs, the more engaged your core is going to be. Depending on the strength of your core, you might have to start a little higher. So we're going to start with our legs almost upright, slim, slightly. All right, you ready? Set, go. And remember, this is the modified version. All right, more advanced version, get your legs a little lower. Try to keep that lower back on the floor. Nice and quick. And uh, those are our scissor kicks. Now we're gonna rest for 30 more seconds. And we're on our last exercise for Monday, which is gonna be quick feet. So the modification for quick feet is like slower feet. That's how we'll switch that up. <laughs> All right, make sure we're breathing, taking this time to get ready for the next exercise. So if you're at home, you can use a platform or a step um, if you want to make your steps higher. But for right now, I'm going to assume nobody has any of that at home, and we're just going to keep it right on the ground. That way, you don't need any equipment. All right, so the modification for quick feet. And side to side, actually we're gonna pump our arms. So modification will just be like nice quick steps. And then for the advanced version, we're gonna make it more like a jump step. All right, you guys ready, set, go. As quick as you can. Stepping forward with your toe. Advanced version, nice and quick. Stay on those toes, pump those arms. And done. Uh, all right, guys, that was one rep through our Monday's workout. Remember, we're doing three sets, so we have to rest for about 45 to a minute. And then you're going to go into the second set. Remember, we're doing it three times. All right, guys, see you on Wednesday.